So if you are flat broke, you don't have two nickels to rub together, it's no fun. Believe me, I know I have been there. However, the good news is that means you have $34 trillion more than the United States federal government. So there's that. So I'm sure somehow my opening line at the beginning of this video about the national debt will upset someone. I don't know how because it is true, but you know, I have come to learn that no matter what a video is on, somebody will get upset about something. It's unbelievable. I mean, you could do a video of golden retriever puppies playing with babies and someone will get mad. Luckily, though, it's only a very small percentage. The rest of us are pretty normal people. But anyway, first on the agenda down here at the wood yard, we're going to put some quick couplers on the excavator. Won't take long at all. So I have, what do I have? I have two attachments that use the auxiliary hydraulics, one being the split fire log splitter. And the other is the work brow ditching bucket. Speaking of uh, excavators, my buddy Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and Nathan from Out of the Woods. They are uh, new excavator owners. They each recently got one. A lot of people have been uh, realizing the versatility of an excavator, no matter what you do. Both uh, Nathan and Daniel are learning to uh, run their new machines. And I told them just today, I was texting both of them. I said, I would offer uh, new excavator operator training and I'd give them a deal. I said it would be buy one, get the other half off. Daniel could get the half off. Nathan would have to pay full price. I'm going to uh, take a little break from the road project going out through the woods. I have things buttoned up pretty good out there for now. And uh, the weather is supposed to take a turn for the worse tonight. We're going to get a little bit of snow from what they're saying, not much. Now down at the cabin, I think they're calling for like four to eight inches down there. We'll have to see what happens. But we have been busy making more firewood, as you can see. And that's what we're going to do right now. This stuff here is uh, smaller than what I normally split on the racks. But what I do with those little ones, I'll line like three or four of them up across there and get them all in one shot.
right, we just put a log on the sawmill. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but I wanted to show you something. This screen right here, I went over this briefly when I first got the machine, but I wasn't real familiar with it. I'm still not, you know, completely up to speed, but it appears to be pretty easy to navigate. Uh, since I just put those quick couplers out there on the stick, we're gonna adjust the flow, the hydraulic flow, for let's say the tilt bucket. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit uh, menu. We'll go through this real quick. Here's your uh, periodic checks. Got engine oil, hydraulic oil, air filter. Shows you how much life is remaining before you need to uh, take care of it. Like the engine oil is at 500 hours. I'll change it before that. But the first thing we need to do will be at 50 hours and that's the gear oil in your travel motors. So probably when I get around 45 hours, I'll take care of that. Anyway, we're gonna back out of there. Then you've got your log record. And this is actually pretty cool. Like the last week, last three days, I've been working on the road out there, going to the clearing, and I've been running this and the skid loader both. As you can see, 1.1, 1.6 hours, 1.6. I haven't been using it that much, yet I've been getting a lot done with it if you watch the uh, previous videos. So we'll back out of that. Next screen is messages. There's no messages right now. Running normally. Now we'll go to auxiliary hydraulics, okay? Mode select. It's currently on one, which is this right here that controls my thumb. Now what we want to do, we're going to go to two. I've never done this before. So we'll hit two. It says two is set up. So what we want to do, I need to back back or go back to auxiliary hydraulics and we'll set the flow setting for two. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna select that there. And you see how I'm turning that way down? This will be for the tilt bucket. You don't want any, no, you do want some hydraulic flow, but you don't want a lot of hydraulic flow for the tilt bucket. Setting it down like I did right here, it'll move very nice and smoothly, not real herky-jerky. So this is really nice. You can control all the flow settings from right here in the cab. Uh, you don't have to get out of the machine and adjust any valves or do anything outside. You can take care of it all right here. It's pretty nice. All right, so here's the log we're gonna put on the mill. It's a soft maple. And to be honest, I don't normally saw these. I'm just not a big fan of maple. I don't know why, it's just not my thing. I like cherry, walnut, red oak, white oak. But many of you tell me how beautiful this lumber is and you know we have literally thousands of these on the property and uh i just don't saw them very often and i don't pay much attention to them when i do so we're going to open this one up and we're going to see if you guys are right and uh just see how nice this is it's not a real big one it's about uh 14 and a half inches in diameter about nine feet long now on the far end over there uh, it's a little punky in the center, but that should go away in the first foot or so. We'll just have to see.
right, let's take a uh, let's take a look at this. I'll say one thing: you can fly through this. It is definitely soft. You know, as far as hardwoods go. It is pretty. It really is. I just prefer, like I said, you know, cherry, walnut, red oak, white oak. Now, I have a question for you guys. I'm thinking this is what they call ambrosia maple, correct? I need you to let me know in the comments, but ambrosia maple is like a fungus, I believe. I'm not an expert on it. It causes these streaks and imperfections. It is really nice wood. It is. Uh, I don't know. Do any of you guys use this stuff? Remember how I said it's a little punky here at the bottom? You can see that right here. It only comes up to about, about a foot, not even that. But yeah, very pretty. Here's some of the boards I got over here. I do know one thing about the maples. You really have to be careful of uh, sticker stain. It is nice, isn't it? It's different. Different than what I'm used to looking at. Like I said, we got lots of this. It's everywhere. It grows on trees. Huh. But anyway, I'm going to head up to the uh, building right now because I'll tell you what, I am freezing. And then uh, we'll talk more about this and a few other things that I need to talk about before we wrap this video up. All right, so I am in the building now and it feels fantastic in here. It has been uh, just cold today. I just couldn't get warm and I think it's the wind. It's been pretty windy and like I said, we're supposed to get some snow tonight and you can see Melissa taking a nap there behind me, which she's not. She's faking it. But we do pull that bed out when the grandkids come up and they carry on and watch movies and all that kind of stuff. But you guys were right. Let's scooch in here a little bit. Okay. About the uh, that maple. It is nice. Uh, not my favorite, but it is really nice. And let me know in the comments, do you call that ambrosia maple? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's those dark streaks in the maple. It's like a fungus. Oh. You know all about it, Melissa. Ambrosia. The other thing is, uh, before we wrap this up, I want to mention, if you are a subscriber to the channel, please check, make sure you're still subscribed. I've been getting emails and comments that YouTube is unsubscribing people. I have no idea why they do that, but it is a real thing. Uh, the other thing is our newsletter. Uh, if you're interested in that, go to our website, outdoorswiththemorgans.com. And our social media. Yeah. A little box will pop up and you just enter your email, hit submit, and you're on our newsletter. If you're not getting it, check your spam folder, but we have a very high open rate, I think it's yeah. called. When, we can, yeah. yeah, we can see how many people open it. It's incredibly high. So most people are getting them, and also Facebook, Instagram. To, yeah, Outdoors with the Morgans. And you can follow along on the social media platforms as well. Yeah. But I think that's about it. Us. Anything else you'd like to add, Melissa? No, but we are going to get snow, so I hope we get more. We're just going to get a little bit. I know, but I'm hoping we get more than what they're forecasting. I don't know. It's I, like the middle of February, and we only got... I kind of wanted a real big snow, but I'm well over it right now. After the last two weeks of nice weather, I say bring on spring. Okay. Bring on spring, forget this winter ever happened, and just move on. <laughs> now the cabin, we, there's snowing down there all the time. Yeah, tonight I think it's down. four to eight inches or something they're calling for tonight. That. Yeah. But anything else you'd like to add before we wrap this up? Nope. All right. We're just kind of rambling. So we appreciate y'all being here, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.